Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Dan and Omar are going to be debating. The debate statement is, Kylo Ren is a better villain than Darth Vader. The rules are as follows. Dan will start, Omar will do a counter argument, and then Dan will get a rebuttal. Fighters, get ready. Debate! Go! What makes a good villain? A good villain thinks they're the hero of the story. Good villain is complex, and we like seeing them when they're on stage. And a good villain will stop at nothing to get what they want. Kylo Ren is all of these things and more. Ben Solo is the heir to the Skywalker bloodline, he's heir to royalty, he is the heir to the rebellion. That's a lot of pressure on a little kid. Ben is the child on whom every hope and every expectation has been placed. Like his uncle Luke, people expect him to become a legend. And it's likely that this kid resented all of that. So when Snoke comes along whispering sweet nothings in his ear about how he should just take what he wants and that he has the power to do it, he found a receptive audience. And then when young Ben wakes up in the middle of the night, Luke Skywalker standing over him in the middle of the night with a lightsaber, he assumes the worst. He assumes that Luke is there to kill him because he is jealous of his power, so he attacks. That is when Ben Solo turns into Kylo Ren. Ben Solo made the choice to become a monster because only a monster can cleanse the universe of chaos and bring the order that he so desires. Because only that order can quiet the demons that have followed him long before he was Kylo Ren and that will continue to follow them until he can put them to rest with the order he imposes on the universe. We sympathize a lot with Ben Solo, with Kylo Ren, during his scenes in The Last Jedi when he and Rey are having their uh, force chats. And we think, like Snoke, he's conflicted. He doesn't know what he's going to do. He might choose the light side, he might choose the dark side. But it's easy to forget during those scenes that Kylo Ren is not a good person. Kylo Ren is a bad person who has occasional moments of doubt. And this is never more evident than in those scenes where he's talking to Rey about her parents. She acknowledges that her parents were no one, but he has to twist the knife. It's not just that they were no one, it's that they were filthy junk traders who sold her for drinking money and are in a pauper's grave in Jakku. But remember what he says next. You came from nothing, you are nothing, but not to me. This isn't an expression of love. This is language abusers use. You are worthless except for the value that I place in you. Ben Solo, Kylo Ren, is not a good person, but he is a complex person person, and his expressions to Rey are complex, and we can spend a lot of time tearing apart their relationship because it is so interesting. When he's pleading with Rey for her to join him, he's not looking for a partner. He's looking for validation of his entire worldview, and this is again where you realize that he is not just playing a monster here, he really is a monster. And not only that, but he's a monster who's going to control his own destiny. He's not like Darth Vader who is content to be on a leash. He is going to steer his destiny by killing Snoke, by killing his master, by killing his father, by killing anyone who is going to get in the way of him using that power to quiet his demons. And he's intelligent enough to come up with a plan in a split second that can allow him to defeat his master who has the power to read his mind without any effort. Kylo Ren is an incredibly complex, intelligent, layered, and conflicted villain who we are very lucky to have as Star Wars fans. Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, is the most evilest villain ever created, not just in Star Wars, ever in the history of anything. He's a giant with a black mask and a fire red sword that can and will kill you with a thought. He is the incarnation of Star Wars. His emotionless black mask is what we think of when we think of Star Wars. Without Darth Vader, Star Wars is just a story about a whiny farm boy getting a lucky shot. 
And Dan's sort of right. It's not a good villain. A great villain is the hero of his own story. And in order to make a great villain, you have to have something horrible happen to him. And Anakin had the worst things happen to him. Anakin came from nothing! He ain't got no daddy. He was a nobody. He was a slave. And he learned he was the chosen one. That's a lot of pressure to have on a little boy. He was singled out as the one who was supposed to bring balance to the Force. And Anakin's story is about love. Everything he did, he did for love. But love couldn't save his mama. Only rage and pain can make up for what happened to her. And when he thought he was going to lose his girl Padme, he burned and killed everything in his way, including little children. Little kids. That's as evil as you get. Why are we even having this argument, Dan? In his own mind, the entire time he's thinking he's doing the right thing. By joining the dark side, he thought he could defeat death, and death was the thing that was taking away his one true love. But it was that striving to save his love that left him vulnerable for Palpatine to come in and whisper those sweet little nothings into his ears. And it is at this point when the Emperor grabbed a hold of Anakin's fears, he was able to turn this hero into the world's greatest villain, all taking advantage of Anakin's love. And he turned that love into hate by making Anakin think that he had outright killed Padme. And this is the girl that he gave up everything to save. Anakin's story is an incredible tragedy that gave birth to the greatest villain ever created by mankind. Darth Vader is a creature of pure anger and pure rage. He represents death to not only his enemies, but also his allies. Y'all remember the scenes when he's choking everybody? This is a man you can't bargain with and he can't be stopped. When you're in his way, he will cut you down and forget about you the next second. No one forgets the Imperial March theme and that tingle of joy when you see Vader on screen. He's an incredible presence to hear or see. One that Kylo Ren can only poorly imitate. James Earl Jones don't do the voice of Kylo Ren, does he? You can't hear that asthma out of Kylo Ren's mouth. He's just trying to sound like his granddaddy. Come on. Darth Vader was able to take down ships with the Force during the Vader Down storyline in the comic books. Kylo Ren can't do that! And I'm sorry, did they make a waffle maker out of Kylo Ren's mask? No, they did not. They used... Vader's. Darth Vader is indeed a great villain. He's terrifying, and he absolutely personifies evil for those of us that grew up with just the original trilogy. But while it seems like he's the personification of fear and rage, Really, the story we get from the whole Star Wars saga is that he's a good guy who just gave up. He was born a slave, and he never grew out of being a slave. He was a slave to his emotions, a slave to his fears, and ultimately a slave to Palpatine. In Revenge of the Sith, remember we see Anakin become Vader. He didn't make a choice to be evil, he just simply stopped trying to be good. He was so racked by fear, fear of loss, and fear of his own power, that he gave up his ability to make decisions and ceded that to Palpatine, who then set him loose on the galaxy. At the end of the day, Vader was a tool of the Emperor's, just a henchman, not a true villain. Leia was absolutely right in Star Wars when she made a joke about someone holding Vader's leash. And this is represented in both Empire and Jedi in his confrontations with Luke, where despite his actual words, all we really hear is a tired man begging his son first for validation and then just to set him free. As Vader said to Luke when they were on their way up to see the Emperor, It is too late for me, son. Vader is a broken man hiding behind a mask. Kylo Ren, on the other hand, has left his mask behind. He hunted down and destroyed everything that tied him to that child of hope. Hope only brings chaos. Like he told Rey, he is a monster. Because a monster is what is required to bring order, his order, to the galaxy. Woo, so we said a uh, mouthful. What did you guys think? Who who won? I think you all both brought up some really good points. However, I'm going to side with Dan here because I also strongly believe that Kylo Ren is a better villain than Darth Vader. Okay. Really? Uh, both of you can be idiots in the same idiot valley, in the I same idiot planet. Am. Go ahead. Well, so so I'll, I'll just break this down very quickly. Uh, Darth Vader, if he had listened to anyone at all in his entire like trilogy... He would have known that he, Yoda said, the force, the future is not set. If he had listened to anyone, Mace Windu, Yoda, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, dude with squishy head, if he listened to any of them, they'd be like, hey, don't go out and do these things, don't give them to the dark side. All the things that he was fighting for or against, he would have avoided. I think that's a weak 
character flaw. Also, when he first came out, he was just a big, scary, one-dimensional bad guy. Like, eh, whatever. This is 2018. We don't have to deal with one-dimensional bad guys. I want some depth, some complexity in my evil characters, right? That's, again, why I like Kylo Ren. He's evil because, like, you know, he's this entitled emo little kid who has the whole legacy of being a solo and a skywalker and blah 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 and he chooses to go on this dark path thing and he's miss he sees his uncle and he's like oh no and then he gets whiny about that so like but at there's certain points that so he's so he's keeping up the skywalker hair <laughs> absolutely absolutely but you see points in this where like you actually think for a second that he's gonna be good like you see like okay i can identify with why he thinks this is the way even though this is the bad way you shouldn't do this i can see why from his point of view he's pursuing this he's completely obsessed with luke he you think he has a bit more depth when he's going to change with um with ray but he doesn't like i understand i like his and i also like how he's trying to be like granddaddy and he just can't do it he's just a kid trying to be scary and he's just not scary so i love kylo ren and hopefully this ninth movie comes out will fully flesh out if he how the depths that he can get to with his evilness. Okay, Rob, I'm going to counter that because you said, oh, he's just a one-dimensional character as far as Darth Vader goes. So Darth Vader, much like Dracula, much like Frankenstein, he is the original evil. He is the original villain for the Star Wars. He is a bad mamma jamma. So like I'll take it, you're siding with me. I'm siding with everyone. Yes! So I definitely think that Vader wins hands down in the Star Wars universe. And I don't like Star Wars. You know, so when I say I like him, I think when I think of the Star Wars uh, franchise, I think of Darth Vader as the villainous villain of the the whole shebang. Um, he is a tragic character. I think tragic villains have way more complexity than oh, I'm just a baddie to be a baddie. You know, I, I think that that's overplay. That's done. Oh well, you know, go somewhere else. Um, he is an imposing figure. Kylo Ren is sort of like... I don't know. Those pecs were pretty pretty glistening. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like... I haven't seen too much as far as the new stuff. I've watched, like, A New Hope and stuff now, but it, it just falls flat. I think he's a very, you know, counter to you. I think Kylo Ren is a flat character. I'm bad. I'm evil. Come to the dark side. I don't think he's as complex as Vader is, really. Nope. Okay. okay, well, I guess we'll leave it up to our audience to decide. So that's our take on Kylo Ren versus Darth Vader. What do you think? Is there anything that we missed? Something we add? Let us know in the comments who you think the better villain is and why. Please like, subscribe, share, and may the Force be with you. Why are we even having this argument? Better, we need a better scoring system. Who tries to bang their sister? I want to.